We are taking a closer look today at a new plan that would focus public safety assets on specific areas within our city. Now the eight square mile area, according to police, is now the focus because of how much crime is focused there and also a strain on resources from police and other first responders. City leaders say solving this problem will require more than just policing. They're also going to have to tackle quality of life issues too. Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyk takes a look at the one issue that's rising to the top. Rich? John, we're in the area of 34th and Illinois, a place that you need to be careful when you go banging on doors. That's what we did today. Why? Because in this area, to put things in perspective, it is responsible for 3% of all the city's shootings and homicides, yet only 3 tenths of 1% of the city's people live here. What's going to happen? Well, in addition to police, crime fighting help is coming from three areas. Code enforcement is targeting abandoned and vacant homes. Often these homes are havens for drug users, gangs, and prostitution. The Sheriff's Department is working on getting more mental health help in these areas. 30% of the jail's inmates are classified suffering from mental illness. The Sheriff believes if they got help before they went to jail, they probably wouldn't have been arrested for committing a crime. The biggest complaint we heard, though, today is about kids, kids with little supervision, too much time to walk the streets. The city is reaching out to area churches. The goal is to find kids safe places, safe programs to put them so they don't have to be walking the streets with nothing to do. They're trying to get this done fairly quickly. They want to get some of these programs up and running before Christmas break when kids are out of school and they have time to walk the streets and perhaps get in trouble. Reporting live, Rich Van Wyk, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. All right,